Losing things. When I was little, Daddy and Mummy took me to the jungle home. I wore my favourite wild animal clothes. My tiger woolly hat, monkey gloves and hissy snake scar. Willie came too. I was very cold going to the jungle house. Inside the jungle house, the jungle was very hot. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, it's so warm in here. Look, look at all the glass. The jungle house was made of glass. There was a big palm tree and a pond with fishes. Really? Tell you what, I think we need something to keep us going on our trek through the jungle. Mummy gave me some raisins. We saw a lady with no clothes. She is made of marble. Daddy said she was marbles. She didn't look like a marble to me. Daddy said the middle of the jungle smelt like fried socks. My head itched. Willie, where are you? Willie kept hiding in the trees. Is Willie in the jungle? Daddy said, careful not to lose Willie. I told Willie not to climb any more trees. <laughs> when we left the jungle house, it was cold again. We walked back through the park. After a bit, I got so cold I couldn't walk. Where are your gloves? Where's your hat? Where's your scarf? Oh, no. Oh. Where's your hat, said Daddy. Well, let's get this scarf around you. Let's get you nice and warm. Where's your gloves, said Mummy. And where's your scarf? I don't know, I said. Back in the house, it was nice and warm. I was sad. I'd lost my favourite clothes. Teg, I'm so sad that you lost your hat and your gloves and your scarf. Such a shame. Daddy made me feel more sad. Hey, Teg, I know how you feel. Losing things makes me feel sad too. Hey, Teg, maybe we could find your lost things. Take a deep breath and think back just to where you might have left things. First, we went to the jungle house. It was very hot. We looked at the fishes in the pond with the big palm tree. You took your monkey gloves off to eat the raisins. Then we saw the lady with no clothes. You took off your hissy snake scarf. In the middle of the jungle, it smelled like fried socks. Your head itched and you took off your tiger hat. There you see, now you can remember where you left everything. I thought very hard. I remembered everything. Mum, I got my hat and in the jungle house. Really? I told Mum and Daddy where my things were. Should I go back and get them? Daddy went back to the jungle house. He found my monkey gloves by the palm in the pond. My scar by the lady with no clothes. My tiger hat in the middle of the jungle. Smell of fried socks. And Daddy told us how he found everything. Well, I found the hat, the scarf, mm -hmm. uh, and I also found the gloves. And it was because Tech knew where they were. <laughs> Daddy jumped. It's only my toy spider, I said. I'm glad I never lost Willy. I love Willy. We've been scared since we were three. I'm only a toy spider. Where are we, Bully? Fly and find out, Flute. Lovely, sweet smell. We're in a sweet shop. We're outside. Woo! A tree. A tree of tiny flowers. Yeah, blossom. Wee! More trees. And other things that grow too. So many colours. Whites and yellows and blues and 
pink and purples and white. So many colours. And green, green everywhere. Where are we, Wooly? We're in a garden. A botanical garden. A botty what garden? <laughs> Not a botty what garden. A botanical garden. They grow all kinds of trees and plants. So big, I don't know where to go. Follow the path. You never know where paths in the garden might lead. Over a stream. A waterfall. Up a hill. Rocks. There's towns over there. Lots of flowers. Mustn't step on them. Keeping to the paths keeps plants safe. Through the trees. Wow, so tall. So tall. Another tree. Leaves way up high. A palm tree. Behind the palm trees is a glass house. In a glass house, they grow more trees and plants. Plants that like it warm or hot. Too hot for me. Woo! Who are like this? All trees and cool. An exploring wood. Like a fairy wood. Yeah. Look at the doors in the trees. Who lives there? Fairies. If I was a fairy, I'd like to live in the botanic gardens. We've seen the garden so... Where's Tig? There's Mum. They're exploring the gardens too. Come on, Tig. Come on, Lily. Fly home, Flirt. I like the Botanic Garden. I love you, Lily. We've been together since we were here. I can't see a couple up there. Quiet. When I was little, my mummy took me to play with my friends. We walked through a wood to the playground. Wooly came too. We get to the special clearing. The wood was quiet. The wood had trees. The trees were tall. I liked looking high up in the trees. They touched the sky. When the wind blew, the leaves swished. When the wind stopped blowing, the leaves stopped rattling, and it was very quiet. Some leaves had fallen off the trees. We walked on the leaves. Hi, hi, can you kick them? I kicked the leaves. Mummy kicked the leaves too. We kicked the leaves. It was fun. We made lots of noise. When we stopped kicking leaves, it was very quiet. On the way to see my friends, we heard a roaring noise. There was a waterfall. The water fell over and rushed and gushed into a river. The waterfall made so much noise, we shouted. When we left the waterfall, it was quiet. We climbed steps up a little hill. Timmy and Louise, an angel, should be here soon, said Mummy. From the top of the hill, we could see a ship in the trees. We made lots of noises. Timmy! Angel has a way! Is there anyone there? When we stopped shouting, it was very quiet. We found some planks. We'll wait here, said Mummy. Timmy, Louise and Angel will be here any minute, so why don't we wait here for them? I didn't like waiting. It was quiet, very quiet. I didn't like the quiet. Hey, Tig, the quiet can be boring. And the quiet can be scary too. The quiet can make you think there's nothing there. But the quiet isn't quite as quiet as you may think. Shh, you just have to listen a little more. And when you listen, you can hear lots of friendly sounds. A bird singing. A 
pigeon cooing. A dog barking. Woof, woof. The leaves tinkling in the breeze. A twig breaking. <laughs> That's your mummy. So go for it, Tig. Have fun in the quiet and listen to all the different sounds. You might even hear Timmy and Louise before Mummy does. Yes, I thought. I listened to all the different sounds. <laughs> and then I heard the sound I'd been waiting for. Mummy, I can hear Timmy, Louise and Angel. Oh, right, let's go and find them then. all the adventure playthings. We made lots of noise in the wood. There wasn't any quiet while we played. When Whirly slid down the slide, Angel's mummy got a shot. It's only a toy spider. When we walked home, it was quiet again in the wood. I liked the quiet and I love Willie.